in the world. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, 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 hello. I had to look at the date. You had to look at the date. <laughs> I should be more prepared, shouldn't I? That's right. I tell you, I don't think I've known a single date in the month of March. Really? I, I do not think. I mean, Mary Carl's school, I've gotten to where instead of writing the date, I write the day. <laughs> <laughs> when, well, you wouldn't <laughs> know what I'm talking about, but oh, her lessons, you flip the page and, it, you know, it's like lesson 14, 15, 16. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've always wrote the date, so I'll know because we don't do school on Friday. So that would carry me over, you know, to Monday to know right. what the date is. Mm -mm, I have to write the day now. This is for Wednesday. This is for Thursday. Well, anyway, I got distracted. So oh, it's goodness. March the 9th at hmm, 8.05 a.m. Central Time. I saw Catherine from G&G. &G. Mm -hmm. She is up and at them this morning. I bet she's got her animals fed and breakfast cooked and... She probably Husband. gets up at four thirty. Well, she pretty much does. <laughs> she, uh, she's, she's, <laughs> she does what she should do. How's that? So, good morning, everybody. Hope y'all are well. Hope you have your coffee in tow and get ready for some dog barking. Oh goodness, they're barking. And Dee Dee's sitting beside me with her ears up, but she's going to be a good girl. She's going to behave this morning. Yeah, she she says she's not one of them. She is going Don't to Don't be one of them. Be your own person. That's right. <laughs> I didn't look to see how much rain we got yesterday. Well, I, I did. How much was it? Right when it ended, yeah. actually, we're back to Catherine. I was telling her how much rain we had gotten, mm -hmm. and I told her that we were approaching two inches. It oh, was like 1.9. Oh, it it nine eight thirty nine o'clock. We're over three inches. Oh well, I quit at eight o'clock. Oh, so. I, ten, I, <laughs> I sent Wes I a text. I don't. It I don't apply. Three point two eight, something like wow, that. Wow, I stopped at two inches. Uh uh, we were well over two inches. We were at three point two eight, but I don't know what time. See, there uh, the thing I don't like about the weather station is is Does it resets it, at midnight. Yeah. So you don't yeah. see how much rain the following day had. It just says. You know, rain that day. So I took a snapshot of what it said yesterday. And so I'm going to go look this morning and subtract the difference. It said 3.98 when I walked by. Is that for the month? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have to look then. Well, we got a lot of rain. <laughs> we got a lot of rain. We got a lot of rain. But that was it. We didn't have nothing else. No, and I'm thankful for that. I don't think anybody in the state had bad weather, did they? I have no. I looked on uh, Twitter this morning and searched, and I didn't see anything pop up. Uh, West and West told me they had some bad wind yesterday. Oh, really? But uh, we didn't have any wind. We had a lot more rain than he had. So well, I don't know. They're a little bit south of us, yeah. and that's where they anticipated the bad, bad weather. But they were off a little with the inches. We were supposed to get six inches. Four to six. Well, I always go with the higher. <laughs> So we didn't get sick. So that's a good sick, thing. But we may have gotten four. I don't know. I have to go look. That's a, that's a, it was a lot of rain. It was a lot of rain. In a short period of time, too. Yeah, yeah, it was. It came down. I know every time I looked at the weather throughout this week, it was showing flood watch. And it was anticipating for Friday, like on Monday, that we were going to have, you know, torrential rain. So mm -hmm. it came. It's it came over. and went. Thank goodness. But guess what? What's that? We got cooler temperatures. Yep, we got two days where it gets low around 39, so it's not like... No, but that's still cold. That's still cold, but we're uh, good. I, I don't like it. Yeah. Um, I thought about something. What's that? So, I had to go get my groceries yesterday morning, yep, and yep. On, the t on the way to town, it wasn't raining yet. Right. The peach trees are absolutely beautiful. I saw... A post by Chestnut Hills, and they showed a picture of the peach trees. And I hadn't left the farm in a week, so I don't know. But. Well, I tell you, <laughs> I can't imagine what they must look like today after the rain. Yeah. But here's my thoughts. Tell me what you think. Okay. So on the way to town, you know, there's just peach orchards all over Chilton County. This right. is Georgia's known as the peach country, but Chilton County is peach country to yeah, me. Where we are is peach country, and... We live in a little bitty rural town, but our biggest town is Clanton, which is population of 8,000. <laughs> and 
the even the water tower in Clanton is a giant peach. Giant, huge peach. You, you can't hardly go down a county road and not see peach orchards. Yeah, they're everywhere. But literally, three miles from us, I would say, yeah, um, is a huge peach orchard. Right. And y'all, I tell you, I noticed this yesterday, and, and I really haven't noticed it in the past. Well, of course, you notice the pink, and you notice the white peach trees, and you right. notice the... But there are two different colors of pink. That's a pigeon. It is a pigeon. There's a pigeon on our roof. <laughs> okay, look. I'll be oh, right back. my gracious. <laughs> I thought it may be on the little vent. Oh, like y'all, this is funny. Roof. It's one of Mary Carl's pigeons. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, they fly goodness. around and do their thing, but that one may be looking for an area to nest outside doing? the loft. But anyway, I've never really noticed the different colors of the pink. It's just a subtle difference yeah. in, in the hot, kind of a hot pink and then a, a more, <laughs> that's crazy, <laughs> um, a, a lighter pink. Yeah. But here's, here's my thinking, to the point, right? I wonder if we could go up there and fly a drone over those peach trees. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, yesterday, I told Mary Carl on the way to town, I said, if that guy's there, he owns, um, oh, goodness, Todd's Produce. Uh -huh. um, if he's there, which his little like right, right. shop is there, I'm going to stop and ask him if we can fly a drone over okay. it. I'm sure he wouldn't care because I've stopped and asked him before if we could look at the ducks in the pond, and he was very, very nice. But I think that people would be interested to see those different peach colors. trees overhead it's from beautiful. a drone view because... I had to do it quick, too, because they're not going to last long. No, I they're not going to. This up in. <laughs> He's walking across <laughs> the roof. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm thinking that it would be a beautiful sight from... From above yeah, the trees. Because right. lots of people take pictures from driving around them or whatever. But I think an overhead drone image would be beautiful. And you guys would enjoy seeing it. I think so, too. So we'll drive down there today and see if... Yeah, I'm, I haven't left the farm this week, so I'm, I'm going. Well, I got to go somewhere, too. I'm going. Where you got to go? I did my grocery pickup. And I got ready to cook last night. Oh, what did you forget? I got ready to cook, and I was making some white chicken chili is mm -hmm. what it's called. And I had I had went through the recipe, got everything I needed, went got ready to cook it, and I'd forgotten the cream cheese. That's what it was. Jason was like, when I told him that I was going to cook that chili, but I forgot the cream cheese, he was like, we got cream cheese in the refrigerator. I said, no, that's spreadable cream cheese. I need the, and I can't even pronounce this, and I can't spell it either. Wow. No. It's the block cream cheese. That's no, this is a third less fat. It's called N-E-P something. N Nepal cheese? I don't know. But I don't know why it's not called less fat cream cheese. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I bet somebody's going to let us know why Somebody? it's called Somebody's going to let us know yeah. for sure. Somebody definitely. But it was so disappointing because I had thought all day I was going to be the good wife and I was going to make this good recipe that you know i made for you when i went to saint augustine that's right i made i doubled the recipe and he was <clears> done <throat> with it in like two days so it's it really was, good it was really good it was really, i tell you why i liked it i love chili but you know as you tend to get a little older or just my experience just me now maybe not everybody's like that um I tend to get heartburn easier than I did when I was a young, younger fellow. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the acidity that, that will call that, cause that. And you the, said acidity. That's right. That's, that's what it's called. <laughs> I was drinking when you said that. <laughs> oh, I almost spit acidity, out my coffee. The acidity. Yes. Causes the heartburn in me. And not that it's severe and I got to be on some kind of prescription, yeah. but I knew if I was going to eat chili. Like regular for, red chili. For three days straight, I was going to get some heartburn. And this white chili did not give me heartburn whatsoever. They're telling me about this and Nepal there cheese. It is. Oh, I'm not even going to attempt to say that. It's going to come out as a cuss word <laughs> oh, if I say yeah. that. I don't know, I'll get 
Man. It's saying the <laughs> the what the cheese is called. Yeah. I'm telling you, I can't say it. And I did not know it existed <sighs> until I made it when I went to St. Augustine. It is new for shale. New for shale. New for shale. I didn't know it existed. Or it and could so, be new for shale. I guess it depends on where you emphasize it. I was, you know, going through the ingredients when I went to St. Augustine yeah, getting yeah. things together. And that's what it said in the recipe. And I thought, hmm. Walmart doesn't have this. So I typed it in, I copied it and pasted it. Yeah. Sure enough, there they it was. It. I was like, okay, but I forgot it. Hmm. So we had to have breakfast for dinner because that's all that's that's all I had planned. But it was so good. Breakfast was good. Best grits ever last night. It like hit the spot. Mm-hmm. And I say that every mm-hmm. time we have breakfast for dinner. I yep. say it hits the spot. So maybe we ought to start having breakfast for dinner like five out of seven days. If, if we could do that, so we could do that. Me call it, won't it? So I have to fix her something different. <laughs> Teenagers. I have to Teenagers. Fix her something different. But I pick, I fixed enough grits for an army. Um, I don't know who I expected to come over and have dinner with us, but I, I, I fixed a quite a big pot, and so we're gonna have grits, grits this morning. Grits this morning, <laughs> and this evening, and tomorrow. <laughs> <sighs> but that is why I like the white chili. Now that's again, I love the regular chili, but the white chili was really good. Well, I tell you, I did. It's not any recipe that I made up. I just googled. Um, I think I just googled chicken chili. Yeah, and it was the first one that came up. And y'all, it had five star reviews, and it was like four thousand five star reviews. Yeah, and. Well, I didn't get to eat. I, I ate it the night before we left because right. I made it then. But um, it's really good. It was really good. And it, it was, was simple, good. too. Hey, it was really good. Hey, settle down, man. Um, so that's my plan for today is to get maybe when we go to fly the drone over the peach trees, I yeah. can get the. Say it. What's the cream cheese? New for shell. New for shell. <laughs> I am sure that's wrong. I am a wordsmith. Yes, I know this. That's why I told you to pronounce it. I think I ought to come up with my own dictionary. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> you start working on it now and you'll you'll never be finished, Jason. I know I drive English teachers crazy. What? They, they oh, I'm here. Oh, I'm I'm sure they oh, watch yeah. my video and say this guy is a oh we I can't watch him. Well, <laughs> It's not that we're not educated people, okay? Well, I, to, I tell you, my brain is faster than my mouth. And so I'll, what happens to me is the word pops in my mouth and I'm on to the next. I'm, I'm, my brain's on and my mouth can't, can't keep up. Well, and so whatever comes out, you know, sometimes just, just comes out. Can't help it. <laughs> can't help it. Well, <sighs> yeah, but it probably does. Um, English teachers, you know, there was a time there where somebody somebody would send us an email every <laughs> every time we used incorrect grammar. And I'm not kidding, y'all. Every time we we said something, um, I try not to use double negatives. I know what those are. And 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 if it were to happen, I was let known about it through email. Oh, and, goodness, um, <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny. We kind of got a laugh out of it because oh, we, we are do. our own person. We, <laughs> Miss Carla says she is an English major and she loves it. <laughs> well, I'm glad, Miss Carla. I'm thankful that some of you can look <sighs> over the faults and just see that oh, we are goodness. happy people that they're just just happy to be alive. Already getting tickled this morning. That's right. Good, Already getting good for tickled. the soul. <laughs> We can't help Woo. it. We can't Man, help it. Is it. Warm. Are you warm? It is warm, and I'm thinking to myself. I think it's just humid. I found th- this these shirts. Okay. Let me go cut the hair on. You can do that. I will My let glasses you. are fogging up. Um, I right found there. these shirts. I was googling sun shirts and something that was um had had sun protection in it, but was also cool. And so this area. I think I say that correctly, came up and they were on sale and it was um, called Vent Tech, I believe. And so, y'all, I was so happy because 
I didn't want to spend a whole lot on on a shirt to wear outside, especially. I'm going to be working in it. And they were on sale. They were on sale a good bit off what the regular price was. And so I ordered four of them. And, you know, they do that size comparison. And they want to know, what size do you wear in Old Navy? Well, I really don't have any specific brand that I wear. I mean, I like Duluth, but their stuff never fits the same. I can buy <laughs> one Duluth shirt and yeah, wear a large. And the next Duluth shirt, I might wear a small. But it asked me things like Old Navy or um, Gap or um i don't know just some of these you know hip clothes i had no idea what size i wore in it so i ordered a large uh, upon suggestion yeah and i was so excited when it came in because it fit i literally took my shirt off in the den and put it on and was so happy because i was afraid <laughs> it was going to be like a sack you but, just never know oh no, you, you never, never know, know. That's why I really I don't like buying stuff online. I don't like buying stuff online. I either. really don't. But the good thing was that it had free returns. Yeah. Free, free, um, free yeah. returns. So I said, well, if it don't fit, I'm just gonna send them all four back, and hopefully they'll have a medium to exchange them for, and and they fit, <clears throat> and they feel so good. My point was, it's supposed to be breathable and cool, but mm -hmm. yet I'm sweating. Yeah. It's hot. It's, in it's here. It's really humid. They are so humidity out because mm -hmm. we're in Alabama, so it's humid anyways. And then the rain didn't help, and it's warm this morning. So usually I can, you know, put a sweatshirt on and be fine. But mm -hmm. I'm sweating, and it's coffee. coffee yeah, the on coffee top of that. Coffee and then help. Speaking of coffee, coffee. Speaking of coffee, um, I almost forgot we got a new coffee. We're drinking we, it. Y'all been waiting on it, and uh, we put it on, or we we didn't do nothing. Miss Jacqueline put it on the website yesterday. That's right. And uh, the butter caramel is out, and it is on our website. And where is that, Brooke? <clears throat> www.cogkillfarm.com. I got to tell you something funny. What? So, talking to Jacqueline yesterday, and uh, Jacqueline helps us design shirts and right. stuff. And I, Jacqueline I said, helps us do everything. <laughs> I said, Jacqueline's not watching, <laughs> but we're going to tell her anyway. I said, um, I said, Jacqueline. This isn't a text. Now, this sitting so I could see how this came out. Uh -huh. I said, uh, I want a shirt idea about WWW. <laughs> and she sent me a text back and said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, I said, the, you know, the inside joke with us and, and our and our fans. W She said, oh, my gracious, that went over my head. I had a, it just caught me off guard. I didn't know what you meant, but... <laughs> Well, I, I know she's not watching, oh, but I must give her a shout out more than what we have and say we are so thankful for everything she oh, does yeah. for us. Because without her, that salt, that butter caramel coffee would not be on the website today. Oh, man. It would not. And y'all wouldn't be able to order it. So here's the deal, okay? Yeah. If you tried the Southern Pecan yes. and you liked it, yes. You, when you run out, and the Southern Pecan, we were, I know day for yesterday, we had 50 bags left. Um, I don't know how many is left now. So once it's gone. For this month. For this month. It, you won't be able to get the Southern Pecan. So because we're starting the, the butter caramel. That's right. So so if, if you have tried the, oh gosh, I'm going to get confused now. Southern Pecan and you liked it and you're out, order the butter caramel. Because yep. here's the deal. We want to know which one you like better. Correct. Because whichever mm -hmm. one that you guys vote on to, to, to stay, mm -hmm. will stay. That's right. And um, we're not going to tell you what we like better. It's all going to be on you. Yeah, we're going to let you guys vote on it. It's, it doesn't matter what we yep. like. It's all about what you like. And I saw my main man, Ryan the Roaster, on okay. here. Okay. And he said there are a few bags of Southern Pecan left. All right. So... If you haven't tried the Southern Macan and you want to get it in before you try the salt butter caramel, uh, I'm going to stop. Yeah. I get confused. <laughs> Y'all know what the point is, right? <laughs> oh, mm. goodness. So, um, did y'all, well, you probably didn't watch my video because people don't like me like they like Jason. Well, I, I, this is what I want to do. I want to... I want it to be, and, and, and it's been this way because you hadn't felt well. So the main channel is the main channel, and it and it 
supposed to be all of us that me and Carl don't want to be on camera anymore. Right. So it's always kind of been me and you, but since you ain't felt well, it's been a lot of just me lately. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's a his and hers channel. And I really don't want it like that. I want it to be the main farm channel, which is all of us. If Mary Carl ever decides she wants to get yeah. back on camera again and your channel. And because you just got a different perspective of things. And <clears throat> that's just, I want to kind of get back to that. But once you start feeling well, we will. And I want to put that out there because I've seen a lot of comments saying they sure miss Brooke in the videos and but you know you're not a hundred percent all the time that's right so i'm gonna finish what i was and i didn't mean to interrupt no you, but it's I okay wanted to make that point. no yeah, we yeah, are yeah, a husband yeah. wife team when that's there right. is no interrupt that's right there's only thoughts that are added yep. so um <clears throat> yeah jason's jason's video you may have seen him talking about the animals who is being mm -hmm. trimmed because i videoed it and literally um that was videoed Wednesday and my video went out Thursday. Correct. So the hoof trimmers came, Rogers hoof trimming. They're based out of Tennessee, but they'll travel all over the place and trim your goats and pigs and sheep. And they'll go a long way. Yeah. They go to like Ohio, Ohio, Tennessee, the top of Florida, Alabama. Oh, don't start. Cause you're going to miss somebody. Else. I am. Just reach out to them. If you're, if you're, if you're interested in, <laughs> well, here's what rules. happened is we were on the last of the animals which was gus and loretta and i film with my phone oh yeah <clears throat> whereas jason films with you know 15 different cameras <laughs> and when you've got a cell phone on a selfie stick or yeah. whatever um it's a little top heavy and and the little mic we got plugs inside of the the phone or my camera yeah, it plugs in the in the port at the right end, here. And right it's, there. It it's just, not big, but it does stick out. So, <clears throat> so we're on the last of the animals, and um, Jason's trying to help um, Dylan hold. Was it Gus first or Loretta? I Gus. Remember. I was just loving on him. I didn't really have to do much. Right, <clears throat> and the camera fell over. Yep. And so when Jason yep. picked the camera back up, we started recording again, and the volume was no longer there. So everything from that point forward had no volume. And the end of the video was me kind of talking to both Dylan yeah, and Nicole yeah. <clears throat> saying where are they covered and, you know, how you could reach out to them. And that all got erased. So the next morning, y'all didn't see this, but at, when daddy, when daddy, when daddy <laughs> edited that night, that's what I call him. So it is what she calls me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever called you that. on camera, <laughs> I don't though. think so either. So when daddy was editing that night, <laughs> he says, we got a problem. And. He said there was no volume in the end of the video. Yes. And so he always makes things work. He said, it's no big deal. In the morning, we'll just go and you can say, you know, you can make an ending. That's right. So, of course, I'm hanging my head. I'm like, oh, no. How much of it's gone? And he was like, the whole ending. Yeah. From, the whole ending. From when, when we got finished with Gus or when they got finished with Gus and Loretta, but past was gone. And I mean, was, this, the video was there. Yeah. Just, it was no, like no watching talking. the silent movie. I guess I could have dubbed it. It could have been like a Kung Fu movie. Oh. You know, it could have been, you know, <laughs> the mouse didn't match up. But the good thing <laughs> was that the ending was them talking <laughs> and them saying, you know, how to get in touch. But anyway, all that was gone. But um, I don't know where I was going with that. So they, they were explaining where all they went. Oh, yeah. They went into details of where all they, they went. They named every state. So, um, Y'all, we're not sponsored by those guys. No. Um, we are simply a customer. They we're have, paying customers. They don't give us any break with anything like that. We when just, they when they first when they came here last year for the first time, mm -hmm. I reached out to them on Facebook from a post that they had, and they came here and they had no idea who we were. They had no idea who we were, and they didn't know who we were until the end. And we said, y'all, check out our YouTube channel if you know if you're interested in that sort of thing. <laughs> from that point forward. That, I think they've watched every video. So, um, you know, we're thankful to have anybody that enjoys watching, yeah. not just because <clears throat> they met us or whatever. But um, we're so thankful that they came and, and had the... Pigs are hard to find a hoof trimmer for. They are. They really are. You know, are. when we <clears throat> lived in our old hometown, um, we had a friend that had a pot belly pig for a pet. She mm -hmm. lived in her backyard. And she reached out to me at some point and said, do you have any idea of somebody that trims pig's hooves? Yeah. And she sent me a picture of her pig's hooves. And y'all, it was like 
stilettos. I mean, they went backwards. And that can happen. <clears throat> and it will happen. It will happen. Yeah. Especially if they're a pig that's on grass all the time. Yeah, if they're in pasture you grass. Know, the ones that are in those big houses or whatever. They're on concrete. Bread for meat. They, yeah. They're not going to have a problem. Yeah. But their hooves have no way to, to go down if, if they're on soft ground all the right. time. And uh, I found her somebody to, to trim her pig's hoof. But it was only really because it was a friend of mine. Yes. That, and it was an emergency. That wanted to help her. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, a lot of you guys didn't realize that pig's hooves needed to be trimmed. Oh, and I, um, I edited this out of the video because the sound wasn't good. <clears throat> I, I won't explain it, <laughs> but was it Gus or Loretta? It was Loretta. I believe it was Loretta. Dylan said, I got to charge y'all extra for Loretta. Oh, yeah. She had three, <laughs> three, five. Oh, five. Okay. She had five toes on one of her hands. She did. Her hands or paw. What is it? Hoof. Hoof. <laughs> so a pig has got two in the front and two in the back like this, mm -hmm. but she had a uh, Happy birthday. Yes. <laughs> but she had five. So she had two and three. Yeah. He he just all of a sudden he stopped what he was doing. He said, I'm going to have to charge y'all extra. Oh, man. And I thought, uh oh, uh, I've already got a check made out. <laughs> <laughs> and so we said, why? Mm. And he said, they get extra, extra. We didn't get a good look at it. Yeah. But I, I kind of did. It's a little bitty one. It's like having a little extra thumb or something. And my comment out of my mouth was, we always knew Loretta was a little extra. She's special. She's extra she special. She is extra special. But I will say this. Before, well, the first time they came, they didn't know who we were. Mm -mm. And we didn't know anything about them. No, and we didn't know so, what to expect. No, so when they came and we saw how they treated our animals. Yes. We were like, we love these guys. Yes. And we want to get on a routine with these guys so they will come you know, on a schedule for us. And that's what they do. Yeah. They travel around and reach out to you and let you know when they're going to be in the era, mm -hmm. area. Try to nail down a date and then update that date as it gets closer to time. Yeah. So um, they knew everybody by name this time. Both oh, yeah. Without us telling <laughs> them. Because they watched the video. You know, they were like, Tip, <laughs> are you going to go first this year? <laughs> and Tip got on the stand, mm. like, immediately. Oh, he did. However... I, I think he got a, a whim. He got on the stand, and then Peaches came in there and kind of broke everything up, and then he got out. And then Capri after that, in. Capri came in there. and Capri went first. Capri went first. Capri but went first. Um, all of our animals were so well-behaved. They were. I mean, even even our shyest goats, Bo Peep, I mean, she was perfectly fine. Um, Paris. So well Paris, Paris was, was great. awesome. So good that Jason. Mo and Joe were great. Paris was so good that Jason said, "You might be able to milk her." Yeah, I think you'd be able to milk her, no problem. Because I really do. You know, we haven't had anybody on the stand since last year, and the way they act when they get on that stand is very, you know, detailed as to what you can do with them. Yeah. Boosty was not nearly as well behaved as Capri and Fifi, and Bootsy was a bottle baby. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, just goes to show yep. you. I don't think I'll have a problem milking either Fifi or Capri. They did very well. They did very well. And I know I need to start working with them, you know, getting them on the stand, feeding them. But um, I'm going to do that. I'm yep. going to do that. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> they did. They did all did great. Now, all the pigs did great. The only thing was is that Peaches squealed a lot. And that's just a defense mechanism. And it is, if y'all have never heard a pig, when that kicks in, it is really loud. We were inside the barn. Yeah. And if you've watched the video, you saw Peaches. And did you add music to it or you just took the sound out? I just took the squealing out and you could hear the Dremel running. <clears throat> um, well, you're talented. <laughs> I was wondering what happened, if how you fixed that. Oh. But, but uh, uh, she did. She squealed. Um, and, you know, I was like, is this normal? Do, do, do they all squeal this loud? Because it was pretty loud. Yeah. And, of course, it was amplified because it was inside the barn. Oh, inside and, the barn. And, and he said, she's actually doing pretty good. Yeah. You know, um, most of them even squeal louder than her. But she wasn't fighting. 
No, she wasn't like she was kicking or no, moving around. She was just screaming. She was just, you know, screaming. So I was thinking, okay, so if Peaches scream like that, Peaches is a diva. You know, I didn't expect her to squeal. I expected her to just sit there and yeah. not do anything. We got to Loretta. I was thinking if Peaches squealed, then Loretta's going to take that, you know, 10 times higher. Thought, y'all, and y'all know how Loretta is. Loretta's the most vocal animal here. And she, she can't hear. So you would think that her squealing I, would be. I was prepared for the squealing to begin and Loretta didn't make a peep. She was, <laughs> she was, I couldn't believe it. I was like, and, and you just told me that Peaches was normal, but what do you call Loretta? <laughs> and then we got to Gus and I, I'm nearly positive Gus fell asleep. Well, he was making a sound that sounded like a snore. I, his eyes was closed. I swear Gus was asleep. They um they they absolutely had no problem with their hooves being trimmed, and a lot of you guys said that you've never seen a they didn't they said I don't know why I find this so funny but seeing those pigs <laughs> upside down on their back just makes me laugh. <sighs> oh, and it doesn't hurt. Uh, some people were wanting to know, you know, if it hurts the goats or yeah. if it hurts the pigs. It doesn't hurt. Um, they don't jerk. They don't, you know make any the goats i'm talking about they don't make any sounds now if we were doing it mm -hmm. it would take so long that they would jerk yeah because when we've done it in the past we've just spent so much time on that one foot trying to get it flat trying to get it correct and that's the joy of having somebody do it for you yeah it was it was it was really 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 quick um i see some people saying why didn't i let peaches y'all the volume was so loud and anybody would have had headphones on watching the video. If you'd have been on your TV, you would have been very mad. At you us. would have been very mad that I allowed that to go through because it would have been so. Here's loud. what we were doing. It'd be like somebody yelling <laughs> in, in a microphone, pretty we, much. We were literally, you know, yeah. had our hands in our ears because it was, it was echoing through that building. And it was ear piercing. Yeah. So that's why. That is why. You're silent. <laughs> Well, it was talking about dubbing the, the sound in, mm -hmm. and you know, it could be like the whole Kung Fu movies, yeah. And on Saturdays and sometimes Sundays, if I'm not mistaken, I loved Kung Fu Theater. I believe you and told I us that. I cannot remember what channel it came on. Well, I was, can remember watching TV and saying, Is there anything else on besides this Kung Fu business? <laughs> I loved Kung Fu Theater. Y'all, I, I mean, I believe I could watch it now. I absolutely enjoyed it. And I was going to be a Kung Fu master, and I went to Kung Fu classes. And You really did? Oh, yeah. I forget what belt I got up to, but I was... This true story. So, I don't know. I don't know how it works. And, and I'm sure a lot of these Kung Fu classes, especially back then... Cause I don't even know, I don't even see Kung Fu anymore. That was really in the eighties. That was mm -hmm. real popular. Right now it's <clears throat> Jiu Jitsu and Taekwondo. But back then it was just all Kung Fu. It seemed like, and so we had a Kung Fu teacher and they had Kung Fu classes in Selma. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't know that because I always wanted to take it, and I was oh, always told there was nowhere man. to take oh, there, it. Oh, there was a place, and I'm trying to remember. Was it at the why? The YMCA? I can't remember where it was now, but I think it may have been the YMCA. But, so, the way it worked is, is that, of course, you learned all the moves that you were, you know, we used a white belt. And then you went to the, to the, maybe yellow was next. And so, you learned all the moves, right? And so, the way it worked is, to, this, this, the way it did for us, it's probably different. You go to a hundred different places, they do it a hundred different ways. But get the next belt, you you, you pass all the new moves you learn. Mm -hmm. And then you had a, in, the, in a stance where you're kind of semi-squatting like this, and you know, it burns your legs. And you, you stand like you're supposed to stand. And the way it worked was, if you was a white belt, you're supposed to only do it for five minutes. That was after you learned, showed all your moves. This was the end. Stand ending. there for you that? You had to stand there because it burns. You know, uh. you got to stand there and not move. Five minutes or however long Did you long practice that at home? I can't remember. I'm sure I did. So I'm standing there. And then, then of course, if you were going to be the next color belt, you had to stand there a little bit longer. <laughs> this next, I thought well, you had to break a board. No, we something. never broke any boards. I think oh. that's karate. Oh. 
Oh. The Kung Fu, we never broke any boards. My key set was downtown on Brawl Street at one time. Huh. Um, his daughter went to Medivue, but I can't think of his <laughs> name. Medivue was our school. Um, so <clears throat> we're so I'm standing there and the class is going on, and I was the only one that was advanced into the next belt, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm standing there. And I'm standing there, my legs is burning. Of course, I'm a little kid. I, I don't, I have no concept of time. Right. You know, one minute's twenty minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I've been standing here a long time. And it's supposed to be like, just say five minutes. Right. I was lower. I was the beginner. And I'm standing there, and I'm standing, there not moving. Standing, there, I'm sweating. I'm like, man, it sure feels like a long time. I'm standing there, and that stance, legs burning. He forgot about me. <gasps> I was over for like 15, 20 minutes. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like, I would have, like, that was like the next, you know, I was like three belts on. I was like just standing there. Of course, oh my gracious. Of course, he was super proud of me because I didn't move. <laughs> and I got my belt. Only one though? Yeah, because I didn't know all the new moves. Oh. You know, I didn't oh, know. Oh my gracious, moves. that's terrible. I used to get Kung Fu magazine. Like, back in the day, if you went to the drugstore or what do they call pharmacists? Pharmacies. Yeah. We call them drugstores. Right when you walked in, you walk in, and you know the aisles was running this way. So right when you walk in, if you look to the right, there was the magazine rack, and only this one drugstore, and I think it was the one in the old Walmart. I think that was like Rifco or something like that. Old Harco, wasn't Harco it? maybe Harco. <clears throat> if you walk down there to the right, it was the only one that had Kung Fu. In ninja magazines. Oh, and that's where you bought your magazine. That's where I would get. And of course, or did you just look at it in a store? No, I would, I would, I would get one. Of course, that one magazine. You know, you may not go to the drugstore for. I mean, so you right. may have that one magazine for four months. Right. So I mean, it'd be wore out by then. <laughs> I can remember going to the grocery store with my mama. Now that you say that, it was Food World, mm-hmm. and while she was shopping, she would let me stay on the magazine aisle. And that's what I did the entire time. Look at the mag- at magazines. Oh, man, I know. I love looking at magazines. And, you know, you would not see a child today looking at magazines. Do I they guess, even have Do they I, even a magazine rack anymore? Well, I don't think it would be catered to kids anymore. It wouldn't be any bicycle magazines or no, anything like that. Yeah. It would be like house decorating. Now, now who the, wants to see that? Yeah, the Kung Fu magazine was pre-BMX and yeah. bikes. This was okay. pre-that. Yeah, this is... This is one I'd look at the throwing stars. You know, mm. of course, it's black and white, and you could self-address envelope and send, and they send you a throwing star, which I never got one. I never got one through the mail. Now, went to trade day, <clears throat> which is at Tanny Hill. Mm-hmm. And which this I've was, never been. This was back, <coughs> back Excuse me. before trade day and Tanny Hill. Was, they're huge now. Right. I mean, back then, though, Nanny and Granddaddy would go all the time. And it's like a big flea market. And so y'all would take the camper, right? Take the camper, and I got that throwing star. Oh my gracious! I thought I was. Weren't they dangerous? You couldn't tell. Me. Of course they were dangerous. People didn't. You didn't care about stuff like that no. back then. <laughs> I'm just surprised your granddaddy <laughs> bought it for you. Man, what you talk? That you remember the butterfly knife? You didn't. Oh, man. I remember a throwing star. Throwing <clears> star, <throat> butterfly knife. And nunchucks. I know what nunchucks were. I had a pair of training nunchucks though, so they were they were had like a soft outer shell on them. Did you get those at trade day too? No, I forgot where I got those from. I didn't, but I got the butterfly knife and the throwing star from the flea market. What did you throw the you star into a tree? Tree and it, <coughs> it tree. lost its. Uh, I lost it. It. I oh, missed the tree. It. I missed the tree. At know, the first day you had it, ah, it was pretty close. While you I were still disapp- camping. I was disappointed. Granddaddy and my Uncle Luther looked and looked and looked and looked for that thorn stuff. And never found it. Never found it. What color was it? Black? Silver. silver. Huh. You were silver. <clears throat> no idea. I guess it was meant to be. I guess I was going to perk something. <laughs> yep, you probably were. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Gosh, I, I'm guessing I was 10 and under. But can you imagine today? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> them having the warnings all over the package and and what it would involve for them to be able to sell that. I'm sure it would be in a locked oh. case. Oh god! That only you know somebody 75 and above would have the key to. <laughs> because anybody it under wouldn't that dare, could, wouldn't dare sell a kid. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> oh, and then plus then we would go to Tanny Hill and I'd take my bike. You know, I was gone. Yeah. I was gone. Well, well that's what gone. I was just thinking about. Look at me looking at the magazines while my yeah. mama was grocery shopping. You couldn't do that today for nothing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're right. I mean, and I don't, mm. I'm not that old. I mean, times have changed just like that. It makes you wonder what's going to happen in this short period of time. But the, the, what's funny is, is the butterfly knife, the butterfly knife. I have no, I mean, I understand it closing and not cutting you, but the purpose of it just flipping around. I mean, that was really just, dangerous. I, guess, I mean, it was just for show. I don't know why people did that in the movies. <laughs> I mean, what good is that thing flopping around? But it had around? a blade on it. Oh, it had a blade. It was. The case was two arms like this, and when it closed, it covered up. I the don't knife. remember that. You remember butterfly knife? No, oh. but I didn't watch that kung fu business either. <laughs> <laughs> I sure when I saw it on TV, I would play. I was mad. I was like, they're oh, showing that goodness. stupid kung fu stuff. Again. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch that. Oh. Here, Jason is over here. Oh, all up in the TV. I bet he was standing up too. I bet he was standing up at the TV oh. doing his business, trying to be like those. What you talking about? Mm. Mm. Interesting. Yep, mm. times have changed. What, times what have did changed. Nick say? The Soto Cavern field trips, 34th graders with bull whips. I believe it. I believe it. What, back then? Yeah. Nick's a lot younger than us too. Hey, we... Okay. I don't think he's that much younger. I don't think he's that much. Nick, I ain't, I'm not trying to tell on you. Well, he's younger than us. I know that. <laughs> but I believe the bull will. I absolutely believe that. It, I believe it's it. just a world of difference. How warning labels got put on like overnight. You know, you couldn't trust kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they were a different breed. <laughs> oh, me. It's not funny, but it's but yeah, the truth. But I was just thinking, Granddaddy would turn me loose. Of course, yeah. we all did. Right. Get on my bike, ride to trade day mm -hmm. by myself, had my allowance where I had saved up my money, go to a booth that's selling knives and throwing stars, 10 and under, give that person my knife, I mean, my, my money, and he gives me a butterfly knife and a throwing star without batting an eye. And out. that has not been that long ago. <laughs> Oh, goodness. 38 years ago. Oh, my goodness. Well, that seems like a long time when you <laughs> see it like that. <laughs> oh, goodness. I just feel like I was just a kid yesterday, though. I, I do, too. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I guess it is. I guess it means time's, <laughs> time's flying. I guess. Literally. I guess it is. Huh. Hmm. Wow, how crazy. somebody said yard darts. I missed who said it because it's going by so fast. But I remember yard darts. You remember those? I don't know what a yard dart is. It's a big old, you know what a dart is. Yeah. Like you throw it to right. darts. Yeah. Well, think of that, you know, size of this light right here. Just huge. Like it looks like a throwing dart. Spike coming out of it. Oh. And you'd have a target over there and you just throw it up in the air and it'd come down and go on the ground. I, I tell was... you what we used to do. We had bow and arrows. Real bow and arrow? Yes. Yes. Well, bow and I was arrows, we used to shoot them all the time. Not a compound bow, just a regular old fiberglass. I can remember playing croquet. That was all kind of safe. Croquet. <laughs> I don't remember croquet. <clears throat> That's what we did. And we played red light, green light. and But I didn't have any of those fancy tools. But I didn't go to trade day. Didn't go to trade day. I went to Food World and read magazines. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's funny. That is funny. I tore my butterfly knife up. I had a pine tree in the backyard. And I, because you, in the movies, you know, you're watching as a kid, you they get that, and then they throw it and it goes and sticks. You know what I'm talking about? Uh huh. The blade broke. Oh, I, I tore it up. I mean, I was throwing just eventually because I never, probably one out of a hundred would go in the tree. Everyone so just, the ah. rest of the time, it just hit the tree. <laughs> it just a tree fall down. Oh, my gracious. It's a wonder it didn't last, you know, three times. And, oh, man. And then quit. Yeah. Well, mm. interesting. <laughs> to say the least. What else you got? Oh, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. Um, <clears throat> well, I was going to give y'all an update on what's going on with my health. Yes. If that's okay. <clears throat> if my throat will stay clear. Monday, I have an appointment with a hematologist. 
and that is at UAB mm -hmm. in Birmingham. And the reason I'm seeing a hematologist is my platelet, my platelet count has been elevated and it's continuously going up. So we don't know what the cause of that is. It could be just autoimmune making it go up. But anyway, they're going to get to the root of that. They're mm -hmm. going to figure out what is causing my platelets to go up. So um, I think I, I know I told you guys that I reached out to a rheumatologist that was in East Alabama and um, had my, I, I called them and they said, well, currently, <clears throat> excuse me, taking appointments for mid-March. And so I was like, okay, what do I need to do? And they said, well, get your doctor to send in a referral. So I did. My doctor sent the referral in that day, which was very, very nice of her. So that was on a Monday. And that Friday, I called the uh, clinic to make sure that they got the paperwork or the referral. And they did. And they said it was under review. I told you guys that. I said, okay. So um, I didn't really know what under review meant. I didn't know if it was insurance or I didn't know if it was the doctors looking at it, whatever. So <clears throat> I didn't hear back from them that they said that I should be contacted the next week with an appointment. So I didn't hear back from them and I was in St. Augustine that week. And so while I was in St. Augustine, it was on a Friday. I said, I'm going to call them. I'm going to see where I stand. So I called them. And I had to leave a message. The clinic was closed and they called me back on that Monday morning. And I said, you know, I wanted to see um, what was going on with my referral because I was told I'd be contacted for an appointment. They said, okay, let's take a look at what's going on. I found my file and said I'd been denied. And I said, excuse me? Is that being denied by the insurance company? No, ma'am. Our physicians denied you. So that was something that I was absolutely not expecting. My mouth wide open. I'm thinking to myself, denied. I said, could you please tell me why I was denied? They said that none of my... Um, blood work basically came back positive okay so i didn't say anything i just you know i couldn't argue with them they denied me so i hung up and i got to thinking to myself how can you deny somebody for not having a diagnosis basically is what it happened um I felt like she was telling me you have to come in with the positive for something in order to be seen here. Well, then I, I kind of took it as maybe, maybe this was meant to be, maybe I wasn't supposed to be seen by them for whatever reason and just dismissed it and hung my head thinking I've got to be seen by somebody because no matter how I look on the outside or no matter how I'm sitting here talking and laughing, in the inside, I'm a mess. Uh, I'm not getting any better. It's actually gotten worse. And I don't want to, I don't want you guys to watch us and, and not be happy. So that's why I haven't talked about it. I want you guys to, to smile when you watch us and think happy thoughts and, and not dwell on what's going on with me. But I felt <clears throat> I owed it to you to tell you what was going on. So that's why I'm talking about it. Um, if you don't want to watch and it's not, for you, then I understand. So I said, well, I don't know what I'm going to do because I can't keep going on like this. I spend most of the day laying down and um, Jason's doing all the work and I'm not in the videos because I can't physically do it. I can't hold up to it. Um, I'm making my videos, but I'm doing them on days that I feel better. And uh, it just takes a lot out of me, but I'm going to continue on. So I said, I'm going to start calling the rheumatologist again at UAB, which is where I have an appointment in August. And I started doing that. Um, I had done it one time previously to finding out I could see somebody in East Alabama. And I was told that there was nothing available. So I kind of felt like there wasn't going to be any way that I could see the rheumatologist in Birmingham any sooner. But I, I, I continued to call and probably called three more times and said, they told me, you know, there, there's nothing available. You know, we'll keep you down for August. OK, well, this past week I was having a really bad day and walking on the way back from from feeding the chickens. Because that's become my job is I take care of the chickens and that's pretty much it. That's all I can hold up to walking back. And I'm thinking to myself, I can't 
go on like this. I've got to do something. So I picked up my phone and I called the rheumatologist and I said, uh, I said, I wanted, uh, I'm always overly nice because I feel like if there is a cancellation, they're going to give it to the person that, <laughs> that that's very nice. And I'm very nice anyway, but I was overly nice. Um, yes, I just wanted to see if you may have any cancellations. Okay, are you specific to want to see Dr. I can't pronounce his name? I said, no, I'm open to seeing anybody. Okay, well, let me look. Miss Smith, today is your lucky day because Dr., which is whoever I had the appointment with in August, has just had a cancellation, and you can see him on, on April the 4th. Would you like to do that? It's at 940. I said, are you kidding me? I mean, I just couldn't believe it. Yes, um, April the 4th. Can I put you down at 940? Yes, sir, you sure can. <laughs> and he said, okay, well, I'll get this documented and changed and we'll reach out to you when it's closer to your appointment. And um, so, y'all, I cannot believe it. Uh, I, I see the doctor in April and I'm just counting down the days. I cannot believe it. I can't believe they had a can cancellation. And it, I had already googled my doctor you know we tend to do that we want to see what other people think about him and this doctor has five star reviews and nothing negative at all i mean he gets to the bottom of whatever your problem is and he listens to you which is what i wanted to hear so i'm with that same doctor and um and i'll see him very soon good news i'm so happy y'all i'm good, so good news I'm so tired of seeing Jason do everything and me just lay around. And I mean, I know y'all don't see this, but there's days that I just about spend all day in the bed and um, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. N none of us deserve to not feel well, but to go from feeling healthy all the time and just like that, a light switch goes off and I'm no longer able to do what I, what I was doing. Right. Not even to any extent. I mean, I push myself every day and I'm just, I just want to get to the bottom of it. And we are. We are. Yeah. And I'm so thankful to Jason. Y'all just wouldn't believe what he's got on his plate and what he, um, uh, you know, he doesn't care if he eats a sandwich every night. He doesn't care if he just, he doesn't complain. And that's what a husband should be. Um, I must say that my, my daddy was a wonderful man. He was not the man Jason is, and I'm so thankful. Oh, well, <clears throat> it's the truth. Um, just, just he's a good man. Y'all know that. Now I got tears in my eyes. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, don't cry. Don't cry. <clears throat> but I didn't. I didn't tell y'all that for for negative Nancy. But I felt <clears throat> instead of making a video that was all about being negative, mm -hmm. then I would just give you a little update. And I'm glad you did. I'm glad I did, too. I'm glad you did. I'm glad I did, too. <clears throat> so, I'm going to change the subject. Please do. I saw some comments that I had to reply to. What's that? Talking about kids and what we used to play with. And two popped up that I absolutely remember. A Rubik's Cube. A oh, Rubik's Cube. I, I had a Rubik's Cube, and I fooled with that thing and fooled Never in my life. I think I got two colors maybe one time. I don't have people do it. Well, I would take the stickers off. I've done that too. <laughs> my brother would figure I had to pull the the things off. I can't remember how he did it. He'd pull the things off. So you couldn't tell the stickers were removed. No, and he would trick me. And I was like, oh, I did it. And I was like, what? Oh of course, gracious. my brother's a lot older than me. So I, I, I believed him. <laughs> but, but not the Rubik's Cube. That was that uh, Loved the Rubik's Cube. We got Mary Carl one. I was like, Mary Carl may be able to do this thing, but she couldn't do it either. I could never get more. Did any of y'all get more than two? Did any of y'all ever get it? Period. I think you got to be super special and see patterns. I don't know what it takes, but, you know, we're all wired a little different. Yeah. And obviously that one that's wired way different is the one that gets it because I never knew anybody that could get it. That makes sense. <clears throat> what? Carrie Gibbs. What'd she say? She said Brandon can do it. Really? Yeah. Brandon's super smart. Well, I mean, you're super smart too. I could see Brandon doing it. Brandon was a, a, a hometown friend of ours. I wonder if, I Kendall, I wonder if Kendall could do it. <laughs> I think Kendall looks like he's got the patience. 
I don't <laughs> I'm think glad you didn't say Kendall doesn't seem like he's got the brains. No, I don't think Kendall don't have the patience. Huh? I just uh, Kendall. I just don't see Kendall's patience. Now. But I can see Brandon. Wow, but that's the, uh, awesome. I didn't know we ever knew anybody that could do it. I didn't either. There, she said something else. She said she didn't think Kendall could do it. He, he don't have the patience. <clears throat> Slingshots. Now I remember. Oh, I did have a slingshot. Did you have the one that went on your arm? No. You didn't have that one? Okay, so I had the regular, old, you know, one that you would have got at trade day. Right. Or because somebody made it. Somebody made it. So we wouldn't have the. But mine came from Food World. My <laughs> my friend Chip, he had the the show enough deluxe Cadillac version that was metal. Oh and, my and, gracious! And it had a bar that you hold it like this, and the bar wrapped around your arm like this. And had that yellow thick. I mean, he didn't ever shoot you with it. No, we, we never shot each other. We never got hurt. No, there was no warning label needed because you weren't going to do that. But <clears throat> that was the coolest slingshot. But I saw somebody say pellet and BB guns, which I had. And I won't ever forget the pellet gun. Um, I was a little fella. Yeah. I was a little fella. So when I got, you know, a pellet gun, you got a pump. I never had you never it. Like, okay. So unless you got that fancy dancing one that had the air cartridge in it, which I didn't have. I had the pump style. Gosh, I didn't even know they had air oh, cartridges. Oh, yeah. Back they got, got a little fancy one right here that has a little cartridge in it. But my pellet gun was the pump kind. So you you, you, you stopped right here and you go like this and you pump it. And of course, the more times you pump it, the stronger it shoots. Oh, so you pump it till you can't pump it anymore. It's how it would naturally go. But I was a little fella, so you get it going, and then next thing you know, I'm on the ground with my <laughs> legs on it, you know, trying to squeeze it, like, get that thing. Like squeeze. one last pull is going to do anything. shaking to get it. And, of course, my butt friends, who are a lot bigger than I was, are just, bop, 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 you know, they could do it. And I was like, hi, in the world. I'm just, but I remember put a gun, and somebody said cap guns. Oh, Yeah. I can smell it right I now. I can, too. Now, I have I that. can smell a cap gun right now. I had a cap gun. Love the cap gun. That red. Yeah, that I'm, red I'm just thinking about it. I mean, I wouldn't say anything because I was <laughs> smelling it. <laughs> that red tape. I mean, pop. And I mean, yep. that smell. And you know what? That smell is not a bad smell. It's not. Not a bad smell. They don't make cologne like that. Though. They don't make. I mean, they make WD forty clones. <laughs> they may make a cap gun clone. A cap gun cologne. Yeah, that's that's funny. That's funny. God. Well, I'm glad that you didn't post that. Like, <laughs> like I did last time. Yeah. It goes so fast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I got them. Wonder I got what em. kids' toys are today. I guess they're all electronic. I'm pretty sure. You know, video that. games, yeah. and there's nothing, like, physical. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we spent all our time outside. Yeah. All day, from daylight day. to dark. That's true. We stayed outside. That's true. Girls, boys, it didn't matter. That's right. I remember um, one time I was, we had this tree. It was at the end of our stop sign. When I lived on a, a dead-end street, and it was a circle. Mm -hmm. And, y'all, that was that was the best place ever because you didn't have to worry about traffic. It was a dead end street. First of oh. all, and second of all, there was a circle. And at the end of this stop sign, there was a house that nobody lived in. Um, I don't, it was sometimes rented out, but it was empty at this time. And mm -hmm. there was an oak tree mm -hmm. and the oak tree had a humongous branch that went out to the side. Mm -hmm. You know what that meant? Perfect. for Oh, perfect. Out. So um, I can remember it had humongous roots that grew on the ground. You know, those kind where you can't grow grass because yep. the yep. roots are elevated mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> we were playing in that tree one day and I can remember being in it and hanging upside down with my legs. So you was a tree climber too. <clears throat> Not I really. Climber. I was scared, but these boys were oh, trying to. I was to... a tree climber. Because there was nothing but boys that lived in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. There was one girl, she was younger than me and she had something wrong with her that didn't enable her to uh, to play with us like the rest of us. So it was a bunch of boys and we normally play baseball all day long, mm -hmm. but I got in that tree and he told me if I hung upside down um, and dropped, he would catch me. Mm -hmm. So I got upside down and then I couldn't, I could not get down. You know, <laughs> you're hanging upside down. You don't have any choice. Well, he told me he'd catch me. Oh no. Y'all, he did not catch me. And he was, he thought it was funny. It wasn't funny. 
he thought it was funny. And I can remember the goose egg on my head to this day. Ooh. I thought, I saw, I blacked out, first of all, passed out, whatever, saw stars. And, uh, and they took off running. You know, they didn't want to be in trouble for not catching me. So they left me there and I made my way home. And I can remember to this day the goose egg that was on my. So the only time I've ever had a goose egg, mm. but I'm talking about a, mm. a emu egg on the top of my head, basically. <laughs> gosh. It wasn't green. Oh gosh. Boys could mm. boys could mm. be so mean. Girls could too. But I never in a million years ever thought that he wouldn't catch me, and he said he would. Funny how you remember things. Funny like how that. you remember things like that. Funny how you do remember things like. Well, I lived in rural. A country setting, but not when you were little. Not when you were real little. No, when I was real, real little, I lived in town. That's what I was talking but, about. But but I moved there when I was three. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. But nanny and granny still lived over there, okay. so I still went over there a lot. But um, I went to um, well, we moved to the country, but at the same time, we had a street that had a little subdivision across. It was like the perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very much like where I lived in town. Yeah. But it was a dead end street. And there was kids down there and everything, and there was hardly any traffic. I mean, so we, we basically owned the road. So that was that was really great growing up now that I think about it. Yeah. Really, really great. You were fortunate to have that because yes. otherwise you couldn't have done anything. Yeah. The road wasn't that traveled then, but still you couldn't have played in the highway. Right. Yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't travel that 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 much at all. No, I'm I'm often thankful about um, where I grew up. I can remember my mama loved a mimosa tree. And so my daddy said, you know, we'll plant this tree, but it's going to get huge. Well, to this day, she doesn't she doesn't comprehend how big something could get. Yeah. We tell her, you know, you can't and plant it, that. And it is kind of hard, too, because you buy a one or three gallon plant and it's like this. And but he told her, he said, it's not a good idea to plant yeah. this tree. Yeah. So we had a chain link fence around our yard and, and she planted it on the other side of the chain link fence in between the road and the and the fence. Yeah. By the time we moved, which we, we didn't live, I mean, we lived there a good long time. I was probably 11 when we moved. That tree was so big, it was touching the house. <laughs> and you know when you when you when you get the ability to drive you always want to ride by your old house or whatever so for for years you know i would drive by there just to see what the house looked like yeah well she also wanted two bradford pears planted in the front yard and the front yard probably wasn't oh goodness i don't know what to compare it to about the size of the aviary times three uh -huh. um not a very big front yard. So he planted the two pear trees. Oh, goodness. And while they looked pretty, while they were, lit you know, growing, they literally grew into each other, <laughs> blocked the whole front of the house, along with the magnolia tree that was out by the road. Oh, And my goodness. daddy told her that wasn't a good idea. But whoever <laughs> bought the house from us didn't take it upon themselves to, to, to take them down because oh. they aren't there now. Somebody took them down. Oh, thank goodness. They couldn't be there. They were they were going thank in the front door. Goodness. Well, while I was planting a few plants I planted, I would Google how far to space because I know. And I also would ask Jason at mm -hmm. Pedal from the Past and um, Tracy from Just Dig It For Him. Well, guess what? Those those, those. All we had was the encyclopedia at that uh, time. The encyclopedia. <laughs> didn't have Google in. No, nope. encyclopedia didn't tell you how far apart to plant them. <laughs> it didn't tell you nothing. Nope. It would have informed my mama she did not need oh, to plant those trees. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Well, my coffee's empty as yours. Yeah, I think I got like a teeny tiny small. Mine is empty. I emptied it early on. It's and gone. that means that the butter caramel is a hit at our house. So y'all give it a try and see what you think. Sure. You got to raise your cup. I got to raise my cup. Now it's getting cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm still sweating. I'm still sweating. I got my special oh, shirt on. Now. All right. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And on Tuesday, we should be back here. And hopefully, I will have at least something answered from a hematologist. Uh, maybe we'll see. Maybe but, so. But I'll let y'all know whatever I find out. And y'all just have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. Y'all be good.
That was a loud clank. That was a loud clank. Really 